Hey guys, Beyond Links here, and today we're going to talk about Pokemon, the second episode of the Indigo League. Uh, I am sorry, these take a little bit longer to do, but uh, hopefully this one's going to be longer, and a longer episode, because uh, there's a lot more uh, stuff going on than the first one. The first one's just to set up, and this one's just uh, other things like that. Uh, so this episode, well, is the title, so this episode's title is Pokemon Emergency. And the director, again, I feel bad. I can't pronounce the name for the life of me, and I apologize. But the broadcast date is only a few days after the first one, which is April 8th, 1997. I can't remember how old I was. I, I really don't want to do the math on this. <laughs> I'm 31 now, so I I was born in 1992, so I was still I was alive then. Uh, I remember watching the first one. It actually with my friend's house. I think I said that in the last episode So this is an anime obviously and the setting in this one is Verid Verid Viridian City the, the the first one was obviously Pallet Town um, So we're gonna talk about the characters right now Ash the character Ash is still trying to bring his Pikachu to the Pokemon Center in the beginning of this episode and as she's uh, when he's at the Pokemon Center, because I'm talking about the characters, not just the plot, right now. Ash sees a mural of three legendary birds and what looks like an Arcanine. Ash has made it to Viridian City, which is weird, because the three birds, obviously, I'm not going to tell you right now, but he sees three legendary birds and he's like, oh, that looks familiar, but it's not the bird he was thinking of. Because he, he has a flashback to that moment where he sees oh, 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 oh. But it's not the bird he's thinking of in this one. It's another bird, which I, which I know. If you guys want to know, uh, just just look it up or watch the actual episode. But I don't want to name the three legendary birds yet. I might actually go over the movie, which I have. Uh, but n not in this one. And Arcanine. Arcanine is not a freaking legendary. But Arcanine is a cool dog. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I, do, I don't even want to say Arcanine, but it's, he's not a legendary. And then we go to Officer, and then we see Officer Jenny. We meet Officer Jenny in this episode stopping Ash because she's trying to keep a lookout for suspicious characters. She brings Ash the, uh, to the Pokemon Center on her motorcycle. Yeah, she, she asked him for ID and stuff like that. He's like, well, uh, I don't have an ID. And she's like, well, I, I don't know what to do then. And then she sees the actual Pokedex and she goes, that's an ID, you know. <laughs> he's not, he's still not, he's numb. He, he, or he should have been explained by Professor um, Oak these things, but he, he wasn't. So she, find, she finds out that he's from Palatown and she sees the other Palatown people. So she ends up bringing him to the Pokemon Center by the bike. She's actually really nice, good cop, and uh, well, I'm sure we're gonna meet more uh, Officer Jennies. I'm a nurse. Misty, we we see we see Misty in the beginning of the episode, holding what's left of her fried bike. I put, <laughs> um, and Misty looks. <coughs> Misty makes it to Ash, still mad about her bike. And Ash asks what happened to her bike. Misty tells him that it, that it was his fault when Pikachu shocked him, shocked the, shocked the Pokemon from the last episode. Misty also has a Pokemon we haven't seen yet, which is a fish called Godin, Goldeen. Ugh, Goldeen. Goldeen is one of my least favorite fi uh, Pokemon, unless because I'm not really a big fan of fish Pokemon. I'm more of a fan of fire Pokemon. But we do get to see that in this episode, um, and it's useless, <laughs> mainly because it's not one water. But uh, Missy, I can I can see why Missy's mad in this one. Um, she has a temper, but I can see she's kind of like right in the right in this episode. Because I mean, Ash it was partly Ash's fault, but in a, in a way, it's not it wasn't his fault. Um, so she's actually a little bit more tol tolerable in this episode. Um, Team Rocket. Okay, we we meet Team Rocket for the in this episode in, in the beginning with a with a talking meowth. Team Rocket wants to take a, take the Pokemon from the Pokemon Center, 
we <clears throat> we know we see new Pokemon that Team Rocket have. They have they send out a coughing and an Ekings. They they say their names Jesse and James and they do they do their speech for the first time because it's the first episode we see that Team Rocket we don't get Team Rocket's blasting off again. <laughs> so Team Rocket in this episode are like uh, Niger what's it called again? They really they're villains, but they're not what they could be in the next. A uh, few up uh, next next series to come. Uh, they're generic villains in this one, uh, and their actual voices are, are a little bit off from what we actually could see from the actual uh, anime later on. Uh, Jesse seems a little bit better than than uh, James does because James is, doesn't seem right. And same thing with Meowth, but Meowth always says Meowth after everything. It's so weird. Because I know that later on in the series, Meowth doesn't say Meowth every single time. <laughs> Unless he goes, Meowth, that's right, or something like that, I can't remember. But other than that, he doesn't say Meowth every two, every two seconds later on, I don't think. I guess we'll find out. Because, I mean, this episode kind of, I'm like, oh, that already, that happened? Yeah, we'll find out what I'm talking about. But I'm um, like, I didn't know that Meowth says Meowth every single time he talks, basically. Nurse Joy. Nurse Joy is a nurse of the Viridian City Pokemon Center. She's mad at Ash because of Pokemon Pikachu's uh, condition. Ash tries to tell her, but you can tell that um, she just wants to help Pikachu. She does end up being nice to Ash after everything that happens because she knows that he is he's a good trainer. So in the beginning, she sees Ash with Pikachu and she sees that Pikachu is in a bad condition because of the last episode. She doesn't yell at Ash, but she gets you can tell she's irritated by him. Because you're not supposed to let Pokemon battle to the point where they're actually gonna pat they're gonna actually die. Um, so she's he's in crit she the Pokemon Pikachu was in critical condition and she just wants to help Pikachu for for what it's worth and and I can see that and uh, Ash feels bad, obviously, but it's not really his fault. What happened in the last episode so i i well, can see that but she does end up knowing that he's a good trainer towards the end because of what he does in this episode and helping but uh yeah that's nurse joy for you uh delia ketchum we get to see delia ketchum again at home with some kind of face mask on on but as soon as she knows that ash is tr uh, calling she is she takes it off when she no when she answers him. Delia mentions Ash's father, saying that it took him his father four days to get to Viridian City. Okay, so I didn't know they actually mentioned Ash's father in any of the episodes. I was like, what? I was confused. I'm like, I thought they never mentioned his his father whatsoever, but um, I mean. I kind of remember in a way uh, a long time ago I remember hearing something like that but I guess I just blocked it on my head because it's been so long since I watched it <laughs> but I caught that little fact right there and it only took Ash like a day because <laughs> Ash, <laughs> Ash had to run and, and uh, steal Missy's bike <laughs> and get there as fast as possible because I, so I can understand why he was a little late I mean we was when he was like super early but I mean, I don't understand how other the other trainers, uh, maybe the other trainers got a head start, I guess, but they were there before he was. Um, there's, I don't know, Officer Jenny. Jeff, Officer Jenny says, Professor Oak. We see Professor Oak calling the, pick, the Pokemon Center where Ash is. Where Ash is. He spoke to Ash, Ash's mom. He spoke to Ash's mom, Dealy like Ketchum, about Ash making a, it to Vir Viridian. City. He mentions Gary, uh, saying that Ash wouldn't have a uh, wouldn't have caught wouldn't have caught uh, uh, one Pokemon before he made it to Viridian City. Caught any? It's true. Ash hasn't caught any Pokemon, but it was uh, because P uh, Pikachu didn't want to fight 
then he went, or uh, should I say went, uh, fight when he had a, a to take Pikachu to uh, Pokemon Center. Well, the whole entire last episode, Ash was trying to help Pikachu and get him to the Pokemon Center. So in this episode, uh, Gary and Professor Oak are our um, grandfather and grandson. And Gary says to Professor Oak, "I bet you uh, that Ash never he hasn't doesn't catch, catch a Pokemon." And uh, Professor Oak believes in Ash, but he doesn't know exactly what happened in the last episode. So he goes, "No, I bet you a million dollars." Because actually, what he says in the actual episode, he goes, "I bet you a million dollars that Ash does." And Ash goes, uh, "Do you do you uh, <laughs> money isn't everything?" And he goes, "Uh oh, <laughs> that was so funny." <laughs> But I, I know why, obviously. I mean, I'm sure Ash will catch one very soon. Uh, he's, he still has a, a Pikachu, and Pikachu uh, does like him in this one. So, oh, well, I, what, what we, what, what, but what we see of Pikachu. Um, uh, so the plot is Ash tries to find a Pokemon Center in Viridian City, but runs into Nurse Jenny, which I talked about. He, he says the reason why she stopped what she says the reason why she stopped uh, him was, was because she's never seen him before and also because she's trying to look for criminals but Ash has an ID so she lets him go with it, with that so the reason why uh, she, she stops him in the beginning is because she doesn't she's never seen him before and she's looking for a couple of uh, people that are causing no trouble, causing trouble uh, everywhere. And but you can see a poster in the background. It shows Jesse and James, but they're, I mean their faces are blo like you can, you can literally see like a shadow over their faces. And just the uh, the R logo with the Team Rocket, but you don't know Team Rocket yet because she doesn't mention it. But I can see that you know you've never seen a kid before, and he's running with a Pikachu that's hurt. Did you steal that Pikachu? That's what she says. And then um, Officer Jenny brings Ash to the Pokemon Center on her motorcycle, which I said. Uh, and then we meet Team Rocket for the first time in this episode. Uh, we meet Team Rocket. They're on. They steal the poster with their faces on there and the, uh, what they look like. And they're in a hot air balloon that looks that's shaped like a Meowth. <laughs> They really like Meowth, because Meowth has, is in this episode. Meowth can actually talk, obviously, you guys know that, if you guys have watched Pokemon. But that's the first Pokemon we ever see that talks. I know there's more in the future. I don't think we're going to see them uh, in this series. Uh, I don't know. I, I think I might have Series 2. Uh, I don't know exactly, but I guess we'll find that out. If you guys leave a like, you guys are going to leave at least 5 likes to this video. Like I said in the post. Leave 5 likes, and I will do more. Ash finally arrives at the Pokemon Center to help Pikachu. A a Nurse Joy was mad at Ash because she thought that P Pikachu was hurt. Ash calls his mom. Ash calls his mom and tell and she tells him that it takes it took his father four days to make it to where Ash uh, Ash is now, which I explained uh, earlier. Then. She tell she calls Professor Oak, and so Professor Oak calls the Pokemon Center, saying that he made a deal with Gary that Ash uh, would have caught one Pokemon uh, before he made it to Viridian City. <laughs> and it's weird because he called the Pokemon Center. I mean, I guess no, it's not weird because that's what Ash did. He called his mom on the Pokemon Center, I think. And the funny thing is, is that when you actually see Professor Oak in the beginning, he's turned like this. His back is turned to the camera. <laughs> and um, Ash is like, uh, Professor, I'm over here. And he looked, oh, oh, wrong camera. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> and um, But uh, of course, Ash didn't uh, catch any Pokemon because of all the things that happened in the last episode. Uh, Mr. confronts Ash about her bike and claims that ca calms down and calms down because Ash tells her that Pikachu is hurt. 
Uh, she does feel bad after uh, she loves Pikachu, and and that uh, she calms down. Her, her whole demeanor has calmed, and uh, she's a lot more tolerable in this episode uh, than she was in the last. Because she was my negative in the last episode, but. I mean, she didn't really have a character, and she still doesn't really have a character in this one. We'll find out later on, um, and I, that's a couple, a couple episodes, I think. But when, when, but when we think everything will be okay, Team Rocket shows up and sends out coughing and eckings. So, so we get two new Pokemon, not including Meowth, including Meowth, I should say. So three, so three Pokemon. Uh, we get three new Pokemon in this. No, hold on. We got four new Pokemon in this because of Misty's uh, freaking fish, Goldine. <laughs> but um, she ends up, no, four Pokemon cards. We'll, we'll see later on. There's another one. But um, she, they send out Coffee and Eckings, and they're like a bad, generic bad guy, you know, kind of Pokemon. But they are in other episodes, so I can't really say generic because they, well, they are, but uh, they're just, so, I mean, it's nothing I can really talk about in that one. But first, everything seems hopeless uh, because they really don't let, uh, don't have Pokemon to stop Team Rocket. Missy sends out a Goldeen, but that doesn't work because Goldeen is a is a fish Pokemon that only can battle its and uh, battle when it's uh, battle when it's in water. So Goldeen, like again, it's all a water, a water Pokemon. So unless you're like a, let's say probably a Pokemon we're gonna see later on, like uh, Poliwag or Poliwhirl or Poliwath uh, or something like that, you, that kind of Pokemon obviously, like a Magikarp, won't, wouldn't be able to fight without water. But we'll see later on that there is more water Pokemon that will be able to live outside water without having to be in water <laughs> with battling but pikachu is feeling better so P P ash helps him with misty's bike to generate some electricity to shock team rocket so in the episode we actually see a whole bunch of pikachu they're departing the actual like uh, pokemon center because what happens is that uh team rocket ends up shutting up the power to the actual Pokemon Center itself. So she's got like at least, I don't know, six, seven P Pikachu uh, powering the, the actual um, Pokemon Center. But Ash sees that they haven't like, but Ash sees Pikachu, Pikachu is up and actually ready to go and actually looking a lot better. And uh, Pikachu ends up talking to Ash, but kind of Ash kind of understands him. Or it, I should say. I don't know if it's him or her. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> but he understands it, and he goes, "Okay, I'm gonna." Hop he hops on the bike, and and then he starts pedaling, and then all of a sudden, Pikachu jumps on and starts generating electricity, and um, they stop powering, and zap uh, for the first time. Uh, Team Rocket. Blast off for the first time in this episode, but they don't say uh, in, the, in the episode they don't say blast blasting off again, obviously, uh, because that's the first time it happens. I'm sure we'll hear it lots of times. I'm sure we're gonna hear the song uh, lots of times that Team Rocket usually says, not song, but like the the speech that they always say. Uh, so Ash set, sets out with Misty by. His side, and the first person is in Ash's group. The first person in Ash's group are obviously Misty. Um, she helps him. Uh, no, he ends up being with Misty first, and then you'll find out later on that she ends up being. They end up being with like a third third person, um, which is also something that uh, Misty is. But I'm not gonna say. You'll find out in the next episode, or maybe with one of them. I don't know. Ash tries to catch Caterpie, but when he throws the ball, it freeze frames. So we'll have to see what happens next time if he catches it. So yeah, he Ash again, without actually battling the Pokemon, sends out a Pokeball to catch Caterpie. You have to battle it. You can't just 
throw a pokeball and expect it to actually you know go in but you don't see anything yet i mean i'm sure that maybe something happens in the next episode but <laughs> i think that's numb of ash to do that but that's basically the uh, uh, the plot of pokemon uh the second episode so my favorite my favorite scene of the episode is we get to see team rocket in the for the first time uh that's my favorite my favorite uh scene is when we get to see them for the first time uh we get to know what their plan is and we get to know that they're bad guys uh, obviously team rocket is not good guys and uh my least favorite, I don't, have, I don't have a least favorite in this episode. Um, and I think this me episode's message is um, what me this episode message was uh, have have uh, friends because you'll never know when you need them. Yeah, have your friends because you'll never, never know when you're going to need them. Because Misty does help him win this episode, obviously. Because I told you that she tries to battle Team Rocket and however Pokemon are not good. And also, they actually send out other Pokemon, like a Pidgey. A Pidgey doesn't do anything because it's terrified. And they also send out a Rattata in this episode, and the same thing happens to Rattata. They're both like young Pokemon. They're not evolved forms, so they can't do anything with two um, Ekans and, and coughing. But all in all, I probably have to give this rank. Uh, I rank this probably seeing that we we see Team Rocket for the first time. Probably another five star. Uh, I think it's a decent episode. I think it's improving more on top of the first episode. I mean, the first episode obviously is just putting the basis for the next um, for this for the series to come. This one improves a little bit more, but it also just it's like a simple plot of Ash bringing Pikachu to to the Pokemon Center, and then every, all hell breaks loose because of. Uh, Team Rocket. That's basically the plot. But uh, also, please leave a like. Leave at least five likes. I don't ask for much, guys. I really don't. Five likes is all I'm asking for in this video. Um, my, na my name is Beyond Links, and I also have a first channel, Resident Links. So check me out there. I do gaming videos. I play Resident Evil 4 Remake. I've been playing Resident Evil 4 Remake on that channel. Um, and I, I try to upload occasionally um, on both channels and uh, that's basically it. This video is running run on for like 26 minutes now, but I, but I might be editing it, editing it uh, a little bit more. But uh, thank you guys for joining me. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. I really appreciate it if you did. Uh, and uh, thank you to all the subscribers that have subscribed to me recently. I really appreciate it. And uh, there will be more to come, hopefully. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.